Hello, today I'm going to build a database inside of my Notion workspace that collects all the tweets I like on Twitter. To do this, I'm going to use Notion's extension Web Clipper to collect both the tweet itself and the URL. That's all it really provides. But from there, I'm going to create some other properties uh, that are formulas to give me a little bit more information, including extracting handle names and also creating some tag fields so that I don't have to manually go in and create tags upon each clipping. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let's get into it. So first of all, I usually never use dark mode. Uh, I prefer light mode, but I thought it'd be interesting to mix things up for this video and see how it looks. So this is what we're working with to start. We have date highlighted, Let's just press new here. So whenever a new tweet is highlighted, it'll show me the exact date and time it was highlighted. The tweet itself will populate here and the URL to the tweet will populate here automatically from the web clipper. Here is where we're gonna start figuring out how to extract the handle. So let's go over to the browser and let's look at my Twitter feed. Let's go back and see what we want to save first as an example. It looks like my first quote tweet is from Danny Hatcher. So we'll just click on that. And you do have to click on the tweet, go up to the Notion symbol at your toolbar, click on it. And this is what it's gonna kind of look like. So you're gonna see his name up here then on Twitter colon, the tweet itself in quotes. And then you're going to see slash Twitter. This is how all of them are going to be set up. So I'm a little annoyed by this slash Twitter. I don't want that showing up. I already know it's from Twitter. So instead, let's start figuring out a way to automate tagging and create a little tag. Let's call this quote, since it is a quote tweet and let's give it some special characters in front and in back. And I'll show you why when we get to tagging. So I'm gonna do a lowercase l in front and a lowercase l after. And we're good, let's save the page. By the way, I should have pointed out that when you go to save, you wanna make sure your database add to is here and you can search for your database right here. So this is what comes up. We have the date highlighted and the tweet itself, exactly how it laid out in our web clipper window and the URL. Now let's extract the handle. So in every URL from Twitter, you're gonna see the handle right in here. You'll see Danny Hatcher after twitter.com. This is consistent for every URL, which is great. So we're actually gonna go slice at symbol plus replace from prop URL. We're gonna replace HTTPS co uh, yeah, colon forward slash forward slash twitter.com forward slash and we're gonna replace that with an empty space. As well, we want to replace status. So this forward slash status forward slash. So again, status. We're going to replace that with an empty space again. Now that we have the beginning of the URL cut out up to our handle, and then after the handle, now we have to figure out how to get rid of all of these numbers. That's where this slice in front comes from. So after creating a result from this, which would just be, show you right now actually, something like this, we are going to slice out the numbers from here. So slice 0, negative 19. Why 19? Well, 
there are 19 numbers. Why not replace all numbers? Because a handle could have a number in it and it's going to get messy. So the number 19, I'm not completely sure of this, but after looking at a handful of examples, it seems like every single one of these tweet IDs, which is the number sequence, are 19 characters long. If that is not the case, this may not work perfectly. Let me know if it isn't, but I'm almost positive it is always 19 numbers. Okay. So let's move on to the next thing. Let's do this one. This is an image. And we're gonna go into slash Twitter, erase that, and go say L image, lowercase l. Also this one here is kind of annoying. Don't know why that's there. I'm gonna take that away. Go to save page. And now we have this here. And the at handle is here for us, remnote. That is coming from this URL. Let's squeeze this in and figure out what we're gonna do with these little tags. So I'm gonna create another property called tag, make it a formula, and we're just gonna make some if statements. So first, let's figure out what kind of tweets there are, right? There are image tweets, there are quote tweets, there are thread tweets, maybe memes, video. Let's just stick with that right now. Also person, if we just wanna find the person's um, profile. So let's start with if contains, so if prop tweet contains lowercase l, image, lowercase l, we are going to say, do a little emoji here, image, and again, if contains in prop tweet, lowercase l, quote, lowercase l, we're going to say, box quote. Let's just see how this looks and I'll do the rest off camera. All right, there we go. So the tag correlates with what we put into the web clipper. We know that this is an image tweet and this is a quote tweet. Now, why did I do this? So what's really kind of annoying about Notion and if this isn't the case anymore, if we're in the, like the future here, then it isn't the case. But right now while I'm filming, if I were to put this into gallery view, right? Nothing shows up. However, if I go into one of the cards, the embed does show up from the tweet, but doesn't show up in our gallery view. Just a little frustrating. If you didn't know, if you have images inside of a Notion page, in gallery view, it will show up in this little box here. But sadly, that is not the case right now. So I will be using these tags to differentiate between image tweets, quote tweets, threads, memes, videos, people. This one here is another image. Instead of slash Twitter, we'll just say lowercase l, image lowercase l, save page, really quick. And there it is. It shows us that it's an image tweet, has the handle, and everything else. And if you click inside, it will show up as the embed. Let's do one more. Let's do a video tweet. Here is a good video. and go lowercase l, video, lowercase l. So this one doesn't have a tag because we did not put it into the formula yet. So let's do that. Let's just copy 
this line, this if statement, paste it in, add another parentheses at the end, and make sure this says video in here and video in here. And there that is. So with this tag information, we can create different views that are specifically for each tag. So let's say we want one view specifically for videos. Can create a video tag, go to filter, add filter, in tag contains video. And let's also wrap cells. And we can kind of just do this with every tag. Now let's actually try to save a person's profile. So say I want to save Cassidy's profile. I can go Cassidy blah 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 slash Twitter. Instead, I'm going to say lowercase l person lowercase l. And add another tag in here that is person. Now we have a person. So we're going to create another view for people. And again, filter tag that contains person. And what I also want to do in default view is make sure people don't show up. Just call this one tweets. So I'm going to go filter tag does not contain person. I also want to create another view for seeing all the tweets I saved just this week. So let's do that real quick. Let's actually create a calendar maybe. That might look interesting. So this week, see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty cool. You're just going to have little cards in the day that you saved. Maybe we can add more properties to look at. Hmm, maybe tags. And handle. No, let's just do tags. And let's filter this as everything that I saved or I highlighted that is today or is within is within the past week. So this will populate everything from the 21st back to the 14th. I should rename this probably to past week. All right, and that's pretty much it. I do hear my computer fan running pretty good. So I'll leave it here. I'm going to leave an entirely finished template down below, but this is pretty much the gist of how it works. I hope this gave you some insight and was easy to understand. And I'll see you guys next time.